Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I don't know if I'm stitching this into the last episode or if this is going to be a new one. I had to stop the recording altogether because the game crashed, hard crashed, second time in a row. Um, I give Telltale a lot of slack because they always have amazing stories. So I give them a lot of slack for their performance issues because they've always had frame rate issues and their games aren't exactly performance beasts. Like, they're, they're no masterpiece, you know? They're, they're nothing like... The Last of Us or Uncharted or, or anything of that nature. They just that's not that's not what they're going for. That's not what they want to do. That's fine. Um, but this is verging on unacceptable stability issues. And <laughs> that phrase describes itself. I I can't recommend the game that hard crashes your PlayStation 4. Like I, I it, it's becoming to that point. Like no matter how much I'm appreciating the story where it's going. This has been high octane. Like I'm, I'm really enjoying the story, but the stability issues, it's, it's, it's really becoming too much and, and no one should have to worry about, and you know, every once in a while games crash. Like that's, that's fine. I expect it for, from one of two sources, massive games. And I'm talking like the Witcher, Metal Gear Solid 5, you know, the, these huge open-ended games where there's a lot of little things that can stack up and go wrong that can kind of crash because they're just so big. There's so much in there and then one little thing can go wrong and just kind of fuck with the entire program. Or from indie games where they're just not as well tested, they're just not as well developed. Even even if they're phenomenal games, I'm thinking of girls like her, or games like her, her story, or Inside. You know that they're they're very much smaller games. I don't expect this kind of bullshit from Telltale. And it's kind of written, and I think that's the problem because I wouldn't expect this from from a major publisher. You know, and then Telltale can say what they want, but they've entered that realm because of their acclaimed video games. So. Why are they, why are they sending out games that have stability issues that literally cause my PlayStation to crash? Like I can't even back out of the game. Like it just it hard crashes. It's just, it's just done. So that's it doesn't matter. I, I, I can't in good conscience at the end of this episode. No matter how good it is, no matter how great the story branches, I say branches, but you know the story arcs kind of coalesce together. What final options you get? It just end of the day this, the game needs to work like, a lot of things can go wrong but the game kind of has to work so i'm done griping i apologize and i'm not gonna apologize no fuck that because the game's in the wrong not me three two one cheers and uh here's where we are you're not getting away vicky <laughs> what I grabbed actually. <laughs> Another patient here. <laughs> it crashed on me again, didn't it? <laughs> okay, guys, so we're back. Um, I don't know how much longer this, this may crash again. I don't know. Um, but I did complete the sequences. It hasn't crashed since last time that it crashed, but I, I completed the sequences um, that we were when we were in the uh, Arkham Asylum cafeteria. So I think it'll stabilize. Um, there's a glitch in that system. And remember when I was laughing at the word off where it crashed last time where you actually saw the uh, like the inside of that guy's face? Um, I should highlight that actually. <laughs> I think I will. But uh, there's a moment just about like 30, 45 seconds ago um, in this recording where there's just all you see is the eyeballs and like the gums and the teeth. I don't know why that shows. That must be like a core concept of design. Like that there's, there's this 
head features that just kind of move around. I don't know enough about game design to be able to answer that, but um, but built into this, like I noticed that in this run through and, and after the crash where I was loading back into it, there was somebody beating somebody into the ground. One of the patients beating an orderly, I assume. There's no body. There's just empty space and then the eyeballs and gums and teeth moving around. Excuse me. So, yay! Three, two, one, cheers. Oh shit. I thought I was done. Shit. Yeah, there's twice they crash in here, so. Damn, bitch! Jesus. See, that's it, that's it right there. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. Oh, I think that saved. Thank Christ. Okay, Lady Arkham. It's saving. It's saving, I think. I think it's totally saving. Batman! Oh god, you're fucking crazy too. That's the plan. Really? Oh! Fucking Gordon. You're going to die. We should. We saved a couple times. Truly inspiring. Hey, Such Joker. A pleasure to see your work in person. <sighs> Jesus. Look, there's like multiple people chilling out in the background. Look at that. Who the fuck is that guy? Why is he coded in? What the hell is going on? I fucking love it. No, that's the hate doing cool. shit. Leave we'll him be. Up the rest of the inmates. You stop, Lady Arkham. Characters that don't pop in are a failure of the game design. To just ignore him, he's he's busy doing his own thing. And that's a David or David Cage type thing, by the way. There's so. no way out now. There's always another way here, Bat. What was the phrase? It was game over is or a failure of the game design. This place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help the those people. What the fuck does that now, mean? But I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. I need to get that staff from her. Not much is clear. Like, her sonic boom? Like, I don't, I don't know what she's doing. I, I didn't know she was a Voltor. Oh, and this suit's basically just like her. Are you kidding me? Huh. Oh, please tell me there's bats down here. Vicky! Vicky! <laughs> I echo somehow. You're not well, Vicky. Not you unfairly, either. This isn't help. your fault. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. That is super fair, and I'm tired of getting told that I'm a piece of shit by women today, so can we just move on? The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. The, the really logic's actually super butler, sound. Bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so my word much for a old man. 
Oh, I have to move. It's always so unclear. I guess that's why they have the stupid curse right on top. But, oh. oh! Oh, shit! Drugs in that bullshit? Games. This isn't a game to me. No, clearly it's not. This is life or death for you. you know, Batman, oh, gosh, I'm so afraid. Understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcon, You're doing nothing for Gotham. To die. That's true. If anything, I did you a favor. Eh. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you mm. see that? I won't argue. Falcone and Hill got what they I'll deserve. be honest. <sighs> That's quite the turnabout, Batman. I'll be honest about it. I don't think I believe you. Yeah, of course not. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's I happen to know that he's... Blaming other men to carry his burdens. You are oh, we didn't know those were our burdens. Okay. Why is this mausoleum booby trapped? <laughs> I'd like to think. Please look to your right. Wow, I'm way to curious, look weak. Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. Just what about sure, Vicky? That's really upsetting. Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to Why else do you wear a mask? Really are? That's actually are not wrong either. Or the mask. The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask. On my wall. But first, Fair enough. I'll see the man beneath. Okay, looking out. We got going here. Down. What kind of lazy roll up with that? Why would she run? Okay. Ooh. Every loading screen makes me feel better because, or makes me feel better because that means it didn't fucking crash. The water down. What is this place? Are you fucking kidding me? This is a crypt. Where is the light coming from? Why are the candles lit? What the fuck is this? Wow. This is her thing. And there's Alfred. Okay. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you, you, you came, you came for me. Uh, after what you said. I knew you'd come. Oh, I'm man. like, what? Wait. Man, I, I made you. Just hold on. Alfred. No, Did don't let her know. It? She just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. <laughs> Above you! And Cowabunga, baby. Big fight. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. How have so you not familiar? figured it out, Vicky? Oh, uh, no, she knows. Never mind. <sighs> Such concern. She knows it now. As someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Don't do that, that man. please. Don't you. Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Oh, that's Take a sonic boom attack. Mask. Fuck it. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man that is. Oh, I love he it. She's freaking out. It's a psychotic break. Oh, but of course. It's like cognitive dissonance. She just doesn't understand. No, She's like, I can't put one and two together. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A trick. 
true. I never did anything of the sort. There's nothing heroic about you. protected people. You right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. Oh, the, oh my god, the mixing. Listen to this. Isn't that music in the background, guys? And by the background, I mean that's overwhelming everything right now. socialite, you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. Wait, what? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm missing a piece of my ear. The fuck? Let me just get you off this. Off, off. 